Hello and welcome back to We Who Are About To Die. And I just thought I'd actually make a small update video on this. I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know, maybe 30, 40 minutes or something like that. I, I'm not really going to go for a full length episode here, I don't think. Maybe I'm going to get carried away or something like that. But generally, I just wanted to kind of show you what I am attempting to do here. Now, obviously, I did make a poll about the next challenge run. And for me personally, I find the challenge run super, super fun. I think they're really really interesting to, you know, give ourselves some kind of pseudo rule set. I think that's actually a lot of interesting situations that can crop up from there. Anyway, what I'm attempting to do is I'm, I'm trying to get to 10 million. All right, I'm trying to get to 10 million. I thought, hey, let's see how long it actually takes. And as far as I am aware, um, according to something, uh, some kind of uh, uh, calculation that I did, uh, as far as I can tell, it will take over, um, I think, over 600 victories to be able to reach the 10 million mark. As you can see, we currently have 5.7 million, and I'm going to need 10 million here. Now, this is what's really funny. I was talking about this with some people in the comments, and I was saying, hey, I don't know whether this is actually worth it, because as it stands... Nothing really provides a huge amount of challenge to me any further. You can see that this is all my gear. I have basically the best gear that you can get in the game, with the exception of the fact that I don't have any uh, godly right armor or left armor. I do have those, but they are more replacements and spares more than anything, and I just swap them out as and when they are needed. Otherwise, I have two lion head helms here. I have two Mirrodon militia malas. I'm basically using those every single time i'm uh, just you know swapping them out back and forth you can see how much money i have as well as well as fame i have 600,000 of each and we also have a godly shield in each slot as well as you know a replacement as well and uh, otherwise apart from that i'm using the iron curus here because it seems pretty good it seems like the I, I think maybe the best chess piece available has 75% armor obviously that's not the best that you can get but it does provide me with a fame multiplier as well as a very limited amount of stamina deficit. So that's actually quite nice, as well as the fact that it is indeed hardened. And apart from that, we have Iron Greaves and Iron Greaves. Same thing, masterwork quality, and we've got them on the right, uh, the right feet as well. And that's basically it. And you can see here that I am now uh, level 56 with, with one versus ones. We are in week 109 yeah kind of uh kind of incredible but this is the reason why i was actually talking about this in the comments with people because i was saying i don't know whether it's worth it because as i say there's very little challenge to be had here now and that's the main reason for me wanting to go on to a different challenge run because obviously it institutes a whole different rule set and uh, as far as i'm aware the poll that i put up on the community page is a uh, is one where there's three there, there are three challenges and people can vote on those and apparently the one that is winning is or um, uh, or has won I'm, I'm not entirely sure if, if the poll's still going on or anything like that but the poll that has won is the spear only and for me personally i think that's actually a lot of uh, a lot of interesting um a lot of interesting gameplay can come from that in comparison to me uh, basically just grinding against uh, opponents like this because you can see here this is an aspired right this is an aspired enemy I can basically just talk with you relatively consistently here and I don't even need to concentrate and I killed him in 33 seconds so that's the kind of thing I was trying to get at to be honest in those in those comments because it was a little bit of a back and forth between me and a couple of other people. And I said, hey, it's not really that difficult. It just takes a long time. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. Because you can see here, that particular fight gave me about 45,000, somewhere around there. Maybe 50,000 if I'm lucky. So if you're thinking about, you know, how many fights I actually have to do, and you can take a look here. I am currently at 331 total match victories. And you can see that I'm literally going to need 
well, probably another 300 at least to be able to get to the point that we will get to 10 million. Obviously, I am going to do that. I'm just going to do it off screen and we're going to see how that goes. But I just thought I'd give you a small update on how things are going. You can see here there's also a many versus one, a one versus many. Technically, I could do the one versus many. I have actually done a one versus many with six enemies on the uh, on the opposing side. However, the reward is just not worth it in many cases. The reward is only 31,000 and you can imagine, well, why would I bother doing this? There is no real reason for me to do this when I could literally do a one versus one against a an aspired once again. And this gives me prestigious as well as a pretty hefty chunk of money and fame. And I can also bet on myself as well. Generally, I'm not actually betting a huge amount in these kinds of matches and things because there really isn't uh, that that much point because I just have so much money as it is that's that's what I'm talking about you know I have so much money so much fame I can pretty much buy anything I want I can train anything I want I don't know whether I've even shown you my stats I should probably show you my stats after this as well just so you can get an idea as to what's going on but here's the thing now the amount of time investment and this is the main this was actually the main reason why I was actually deciding to just you know forego reaching the highest rank because the time invested is in my opinion not worth it because obviously at the moment you don't really get anything for reaching the highest rank i have um i have confirmed this a bunch of people uh have been talking in the uh, the steam forums and uh i i've i've seen a bunch of comments as well about this kind of thing you can see here we won within 30 seconds i i didn't even need to really worry about that at all but as you can see boom look at that super super easy done and we get another 10 percent of the match goal reward invested in our next character we have twenty six thousand invested in the next character and i haven't even taken all of my money and started investing it i haven't even begun to do that which is actually hilarious anyway apart from that do i have anything else that i want to transfer here well kind of i guess i mean this is basically what i do i just come out of here I take a look and uh, this is actually a suggestion that I'd like to have for the developer. Basically what I would like to see is I'd like to see the durability of the armor by the side of the icon itself. So in other words, on the inner side here, maybe there could just be a little durability percentage or something like that that would basically say, this is how much your durability is on this particular piece of armor. And then I would know whether I need to swap it out instead of me having to go and mouse over all of these particular pieces. And because of the amount of fights that I've been doing, I think that would save me a lot of time and that would be a really nice quality of life improvement. So that is obviously just a, a small little small little request from me. But otherwise, let's just take a look at my character. I think you can probably see all of my, uh, all of my skills here. As you can see, I'm actually already almost at maxed out in pretty much every single weapon type you can see we're maxed out in shield stamina movement obviously dashing and throwing we're not really doing very much there because there really isn't any point in either of those things because uh, i don't really need to dash around at all i am just murdering everyone that i come across there's spoils to the victor right here there's a luck of the draw if we wanted to do that there's also another one versus one we're up against an aspired here yeah aspired seems to be the highest rank with the exception of Hanian Commanders. You do get some Lavosi Champions, Linoleon Legends, and so on and so forth, but they are generally all quite similar in how they act and how they attack and so on and so forth. So we're just going to do another prestigious round here. And this is basically what I've been doing. And uh, over the past, well, obviously I don't really have that much time generally, you know, I'm, I'm not someone that you know, can sit down and, and play a game for, you know, five hours or anything like that. I can't do that. Uh, that's just not, not something I can do anymore. I used to be able to be able, yeah, I used to be able to do that, you know, 10 years ago. But nowadays, no, I can't do that. So, yeah, uh, any single time I have some spare time, I'll just go and be like, hey, yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's see what I can do here. And I uh, try to get a couple of kills. And I try to win a couple of matches, and uh, that's uh, that's what what has so far happened with me. So obviously that's the reason why there haven't been any videos on the on the game, obviously because I've been uh, 
just doing this pretty much and it does take quite a while to get through these these battles uh, obviously luck of the draw is going to take a little bit longer than a standard fight because of course i'm using weapons that are not particularly good and they are going to be a little bit difficult to use but obviously if you if you look at this like 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 how it's going right now i mean this guy is going to die we just need to get his uh just need to get his helmet off and he is using a lion head's helm as well which is obviously going to be remarkably protective and you can see just how much damage we're able to do once his helmet has left his head and you can see here we do 15 damage with this particular weapon which is not exactly good it's not very good at all so kind of hoping that we'll be able to eliminate him in just a moment but yeah anyway uh so yeah um the last two days i think i have had a little bit of extra time so i have been able to progress just that much more and i am pretty much just going into fights trying to win as quickly as possible and then just moving on and that's pretty much it that is the that is the gameplay loop that i have uh, that i have been doing um so far so i i guess that's pretty much it for the update i mean <laughs> it depends whether you want to see more gameplay of this to be honest because there are a number of things that i've done as well i've done things like i've done wild cards like for example with these guys there's two enemies here there's four enemies in this but you can see here look why would i do this wild card with you know a four versus four which is exactly the same reward as this wild card because these are this is a one versus two situation technically i should be getting much more um you know a much larger reward for doing this but i'm not which is kind of a bit strange but oh well anyway I guess I'll just go in here and we'll we'll see whether we can win against one versus two. I, as I say, I have won. Uh, one match in particular was the closest I've ever come to dying, and I was at, I think, 30% HP. And that was against, as I said to you before, that was against six enemies in a one versus many. These guys have godly pole arms. Okay, well, that's not going to be that difficult for us to deal with, I don't think because uh, I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of stamina right now I can pretty much just continue to attack over and over again and these guys can't really do much against me and we can actually hit pretty hard here and these guys are going to be hitting each other quite often as well which is really really nice as you can see they are doing some damage to me of course but you know I'm, I'm attacking pretty recklessly at this point as well so you know you, you've got to take that into account too and maybe I'm going to be able to do something here. I actually hope that we will have enough time to regenerate some stamina here. I'm taking a little bit of damage as well. But as you can see, they actually end up attacking each other most of the time. Anyone that has a pole arm like this, I always see that happen. Where they basically just run into their allies and pretty much just murder each other. And that's absolutely fine with me. You know, that, <laughs> that makes everything a lot easier for me personally. But... Yeah, it's um, it's one of those things, you know. I mean, look at that. That that guy's dead, and now I can just eliminate this guy, and boom! Look at that. Super super easy, and we did that within one minute and fifteen seconds. And this is what I was talking about in the uh, in the comments that I've I've responded to because I understand. I understand that if you want to see me get to the the maximum rank, oh yeah, that's absolutely fine. I'm 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 all on board with that, but. You gotta, you gotta realize that this doesn't really pose that much of a challenge at all. It's, it's very much a case of grinding now. You know what I mean? It's, it's very much a grinding situation, which is sad because I actually really love the game. Don't get me wrong, I love the game. I think that it is a wonderful experience. But in this situation, when things don't really change that much, you know, because I'm basically fighting against the same enemies again and again. Uh, we have Luck of the Draw, we have Luck of the Draw once again right there. I'm not really a big fan of Luck of the Draw, so I'm actually just going to re-roll that, even if I get something bad. Swords to the Victor could actually be kind of okay. I have actually done uh, some many versus Many's, and they were okay. They, they weren't particularly fun or anything like that, but um, they're, they're alright, you know. If you're forced into a, a, a particular situation, basically the... the best thing that you can do is if you're trying to do the same thing that I'm doing right here and you're trying to get to the max rank I would recommend literally just doing anything that you can just to get a quick victory 
It doesn't really matter what, but just a quick victory because let's face it, you don't need money, you don't need fame at this point. It's really, really easy to uh, to win win battles in uh, in sort of like one versus one situations. Obviously, I'm not actually wanting the AI to be significantly better than it is right now because for me personally, I think the AI is actually decent. I think it's actually good the way it is. Um, but that's the thing. How much better can you make the AI without making it frustrating to fight against? Because as it stands right now, do you want it to block insanely well? Do you want it to, you know, just consistently murder you for, you know, 30 damage or whatever? You know, I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, how badly do we want the AI to murder us? That's pretty much the, um, the question I, I, I suppose you have to ask yourself. Because as it stands for me, I personally wouldn't really like that that much because that's gonna just be a frustrating experience it's gonna take away the fun of the game and that's kind of why i play games obviously i play games for fun we're gonna do a mini versus one here because nothing else is looking particularly appetizing i don't really like the pit fights that much it takes a little bit too long in my opinion and when you're trying to get score you want to try and maximize the amount of matches you're doing as fast as possible so more and more matches that's just going to get me um that's just going to get me more score in comparison to doing a uh, a longer fight and obviously i haven't actually done the calculations in that regard i have no idea whether doing pit fights or doing many versus many's or doing one versus many's or anything like that i don't know whether they actually make a difference in regards to how much score you actually get. I did take a look at my score every so often and I tried to compare the various match types because as I say, if you're also doing something where you wanna to get to ascended rank or anything like that, then maybe that's gonna be useful for you. Um, but what I've noticed is that score doesn't really change that much and also the game actually crashes quite often as you can see right there yeah the game actually crashes quite often unfortunately i'm going to have to start it up again and uh, that also has been causing me a slight bit of problems so every so often it's going to do a crash and then uh that last fight that last fight is completely negate it you, you're not going to get the score for that you're not going to get any of the rewards for that and then you've got to start from where you left off which is absolutely fine because let's face it I, i'm not sure whether, the, whether you're actually supposed to play the game for this long because let's face it you know 10 million is a lot of score to go for and as you can see i have six million and thirty thousand now i have no idea how much i started with at the beginning of the video but i just wanted to show you how how i've been doing and and what's actually going on here and how much of a time investment this actually is so that's the thing i'm gonna get to ascended rank i will get there it's just literally gonna take me an age and i just wanted to demonstrate that this is a long time <laughs> you know it's a long grind that's it it's a long grind that's all it is nothing more and otherwise we've got pit fights pit fights one versus many. Yeah, I'm not I'm not really wanting to do the one versus many. I only did the one versus many before because I was thinking to myself, yeah, let's try it out, see if it's difficult. It's okay. I don't think it's particularly fun to do that, but you can you can decide what you want to do obviously. There's a one versus one here with a uh, with an entourage, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm probably going to go ahead and just do that. And uh, so, yeah, so let's actually just keep a reminder in our minds about how much score I actually have. Because my score right now is 6,030,000, okay? So 6,030,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look after this and see how much we gain from this, which is technically a one versus one battle. Because obviously Entourage is a random trait and you're not always going to get Entourage. So let's just say that this is a one versus one, just a straight up one versus one. And we're going to see what actually happens uh, with our score. And I'm hopeful that we'll get about 60,000. I, I uh, did a little bit of, you know, checking, as I said before. And I did compare uh, some of the match types. And it seemed to me like one versus one gave me 60,000, something like that. And other things were giving me 
uh, things like mm, around 50,000 and, and so on. And I actually wonder whether it makes a difference what kind of tier the battle is in. That's the thing. That's the kind of thing I was trying to work out. Um, but I, uh, I came back with inconclusive results on that because it doesn't seem to make that much difference. So let's just have a look. Hopefully it's not going to crash again. No, it didn't crash this time. All right. So yeah, let's take a look. All right. So yeah, as you can see, I gained 56,000 score. So around 60,000, right? So around 60,000. So let's actually keep this in mind once again, and we'll try to find a different match type because maybe it's going to make a difference. So we've got 6 million and 86. All right. So 6 million and 86. Let's see what we have here. Spoils, uh, not really wanting to do that. What about a many versus one? I'm actually interested to see whether a many versus one is going to do anything. And we're going to bet that we'll win within four minutes and we'll see what happens. So we have six and 86. Okay, so six million and 86,000. So we're going to see how much uh, how much score we get from this. Obviously, we don't have entourage this time. And it is also technically a many versus one. So it is a different match type. We have different traits. And uh, I'm obviously betting as well. I'm not entirely sure if the betting actually makes a difference in the end either. It might. That's the point. It might. So it might actually make sense for me to bet on every single match if that gets me more score. And as you can see, even if you are maxed out, by the way, don't know whether you realize this, but even if you are maxed out in terms of your weapon skills, uh, and I'm talking about the weapon that you're currently using, like, for example, I'm maxed out in terms of maces, of course, have been for a very, very long time. Same thing with swords. Um... Even if that happens, there is a chance every single time you use your weapon to gain skill with every single weapon type. So even if that happens, you know, you're still going to be able to use other weapon types later down the line relatively easily, which is actually really nice in my opinion. So I, I like that. I like that mechanic quite a bit. Anyway, let me just have a quick look at my shield. As you can see, I have to mouse over it. As I said before, I feel like the... Um, you know, the quality of life improvement of having a, a durability little notifier or whatever next to it would be really, really nice. Anyway, let's take a look. All right. So, yeah, I had six, uh, six million and 86. So we gained about, well, as you can see, a, about 60,000, right? About 60,000. So it doesn't really matter what kind of match type you do. And it doesn't really, it doesn't seem to matter what kind of bet you do either. So there's also that. So in other words, the best thing that you can do is pretty much just go into any fight that you can get your hands on. I'm actually going to try a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a science experiment here, and we're going to we're going to just bet on everything. And I'm not actually going to try to fulfill any of these bets. I'm just going to see whether maybe the bet makes a difference to the score. So we have six million and one hundred and forty-three. Okay. So 6,143,000, we're going to go and do a many versus one once again, because it's, we've, we've confirmed that it's basically about the same in terms of its score production. So we're going to go in, and obviously it's luck of the draw this time. Don't think the traits really make any difference to how much score you get. I think maybe it should, because luck of the draw is inherently maybe a little bit more difficult, dependent on the arena, of course, because some arenas don't really give you a huge amount of different weapon types, and they are a bit difficult to find. I'd like to pick up... Okay, never mind. <laughs> that guy just stole my mace. Ah, oh, well, never mind. We do have a wonderful, wonderful replacement over here. And we've got a shield as well, which is really nice too. And now we can basically just do damage to this guy. And we have our actual mace that we can actually even use. Which is pretty, pretty incredible to find the exact mace. And we're just going to be doing damage to him. It's going to be super easy for us to eliminate this fellow. I just need to get his helmet off. And uh, it's just a couple of nice solid hits in the face. Should have him... Uh, should have him de-armored in no time. As you can see, there we go. His helmet has already gone because my, my friends are also doing the same thing where they are aiming for his head. And now you can see here, we're just going to town on him. And he's taken so much damage. He's going to die from the next hit. Or he should die from the next square hit that I can get on his head. And there you go. He's just crumbled. Absolutely crumbled. And that was in under a minute. So there you go. Oh, I should actually try to do some damage to my uh, to my teammates, shouldn't I? I actually don't know whether my bets will still be... 
uh, available at this point. I'm actually not entirely sure. Uh, well, whatever. I'm not even going to try to do it, but yeah. Anyway, we got two bet payouts right there, which is actually quite nice, but obviously, as I say, we don't really need that at all. And Valerius actually now has increased in his favor with us as well, because as you could no doubt tell on the character screen, he was the lowest in terms of favor, so it's actually quite nice to do that for him. Uh, well, apparently... Hmm. That actually wasn't his. Never mind. Anyway, so we had 6... 146, right? Yeah, so that basically gave me 54. So it seems like we're getting a around 54,000 every single time we do a fight. And that's pretty much it. That's it. So it's pretty much just around 50,000, maybe 60,000 every single time we do something. So that's absolutely fine. I have no, no issue with that whatsoever. Let's do 10,000. Let's see if I can actually... Uh, Increase my favor with him a little bit. There we go. And yeah, uh, it doesn't really matter about this, by the way, because the favor in general is extremely easy to get. I act actually at one point had all of them above 90% very easily because every single fight you do with these guys, they basically gain around 25 to 30% every single time. So really, really easy to uh, to gain favor with the with the patrons in the late game. And you can see here, there's actually a many versus many going on here. A one versus many, that's just a one versus two. Doesn't really make any difference for me to do that. Luck of the draw, yeah, I'm not a big fan of luck of the draw. So we're just going to go in to the many versus many, and we'll see what happens, because obviously we're now at six, what is it? We're, weren't we at 6.2? Yeah, I think we're at 6,200,000. So let's see whether a many versus many has an impact on this because it's always a good idea to kind of see what kind of strategy is the best or, or quickest, shall we say, to get to the highest rank. But for me, as I say, it's not worth it. You know, uh, I've, I've had it confirmed that it doesn't do anything uh, for you. It's more than likely going to be an achievement in the final version of the game, probably. Maybe something that uh, gets you... I don't know, maybe gets you into like the legendary Hall of Warriors or something like that. I don't know. But at the moment, none of that is actually available. And, uh, you know, some other players have actually gotten there already. And they said it just took a long time. And that was it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's um, that, that's pretty much all she wrote about that topic. But otherwise, there you go. Let's just eliminate this fellow if we can. He's going to die very soon. There we go. He's done. And now we can just eliminate the other fellow too. And, um, yeah, these guys literally just... Yeah, I mean, I obviously have Entourage, which is making a huge difference. I really need to take out, take off his helmet. Oh, he's lost his shield. Well, that's a, that's a death sentence and a half, isn't it? Yes, being in the, being in this situation and not having your shield, that's going to basically spell your demise. If even if he doesn't know it yet, I mean, you know, he's oh, never mind. There we go. We actually got him. Got a nice little body uh, body shot right there with the overhead, and there it is. One minute twenty for a many versus many. Obviously, pretty small skirmish. But yeah, anyway, point is, we're also not even really worrying about the rewards anymore either. We're basically only looking at score. So let's have a look. Yep, gained about 58,000 right there. So 6.258. So in other words, we did gain 58,000 almost exactly right there. So that's about 60K. So yeah, uh, as I say, take from that what you will. If it's useful to you, then great. Uh, let's have a look at the many versus one. Yeah, the many versus one is probably the thing that I would take because there, there's basically no reason for me to take anything else because if I get 45,000, 50,000, 55,000 score for every single fight, I'd rather take a fight that is going to finish in 30 seconds rather than one that is going to finish in three minutes. You know what I mean? So it basically allows me to continue getting score as fast as possible but you can see exactly why this would take a very long time because we're at 6.2 and i started with uh what was it now 5.9 yeah i started with 5.9 and you can see i mean i've obviously been talking for a little bit of time as well to kind of explain some things looking at the character screen and so on and so forth just kind of um you know doing a couple of little you know experiments i guess on uh, how much score you're actually going to get dependent on match type it doesn't seem to make a difference that's the conclusion at least 
And um, yeah, apart from that, it's going to take you quite a long time. Yeah, it's going to take you quite a long time. As you can see, it took me 30 seconds to defeat this fellow. And obviously it does take 30 seconds as well if I do a one versus one and I just get a little bit lucky with the amount of hits that I can get. But usually it's around a minute. Oh, the game crashed once again. Yeah, that's also something that I've been facing quite a, quite, quite a bit, which I got to say is a little bit frustrating because let's face it, if you're trying to get to a certain point and you don't want to waste any time, obviously when this happens, yeah, it's uh, not, not the best, not the best. And are we actually, uh, did I actually get some score for that? Actually, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Let me take a quick look. I have 6.314. Did we actually get score for that? Did I get a lot more score for that? Oh, now, now I see. Now I'm not. Now I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, I started with 330 match victories. We've already won 11 of them. So yeah, you can see exactly what's uh, what's going down there. So yeah, we're gonna obviously have the ability to maybe do an entourage. Nah, it doesn't seem like entourage is available. We do have a many versus many here, however, which is a two versus two. We might want to do that. I've already re-rolled, as you can see, which is mm, a little bit unfortunate, but I guess we'll just go in here and see what we can do. But um, yeah, as, as you can see, that's, that's pretty much what I've been doing. I just wanted to give you a small update on that because while, you know, while it's, um, I, I don't know, while it's, I, I feel a bit of a waste of time, it is something that I can then say, I've done that, you know, that's the kind of, that's the only reason why I might decide to do it, because let's face it, I was actually kind of far along with this character already, and I thought to myself, yeah, you know what, if I'm going to do it at any time, I might as well do it with this character, because it's the further furthest along that any other character has actually been because obviously i set out to do this uh with this particular run when i first started it so i was like okay let's just let's just finish it up then you know let's just finish it up and see if we can uh, see if we can make it but obviously as i say it is very much a case of uh grinding it out that's it. It's just grinding it out. You can see here, look at that. We just won a, a two versus two in 35 seconds, which is basically the exact same as the as the one versus one and the many versus one and so on and so forth. So if you're particularly decent at using a particular weapon, then you're going to be pretty, pretty good. You know, you're going to be doing all right and you don't really need to worry too much about pretty much anything. The only thing you kind of need to worry about is your gear. And you may think, oh, well, that's weird. Well, yeah, yeah, that's actually the only reason that I might actually end up losing at some point because I might lose my weapon, my weapon might get broken or something, and then I might not be able to get one um, otherwise. But then you've got to also remember the fact that I can literally re-roll until the end of time because I have 663,000 fame and I have 660,000 gold so i can basically afford any weapon type i want and it's just yeah it's just kind of like easy mode easy cruising and as i say it just takes time so yeah uh something that is in a little bit of a limited supply to me right now so it is going to take me a little bit longer to get to where i need to be with the ascended rank but that's the reason why there's been a little bit of a lack of uh, we who are about to die on the channel and I just wanted you to know that because uh, I obviously did make that poll a number of days ago and uh, I was I was just you know I was just grinding away you know I was just grinding away that, that was pretty much the only thing that I was doing in that time and I was just trying to see how long it would actually take me and I, I did a little calculation um, through a calculator and it said that it was going to take me 700 matches on average and then I looked at how many matches I had done and I was like, oh no, that's a long time, you know, that's a long time. So yeah, it is going to take me a little bit longer. So I guess the best thing that I can actually ask you now is, do you want to see more of the grind? That's the thing. Do you want to see more of the grind? Because as it stands, this is, this is all it is, as I say to you, this is all it is. And this is the main reason why I was doing it off screen as well, because it doesn't really give you, uh, I, at least in my opinion, oh, there's another crash. Yeah, 
it doesn't really give you a particularly riveting experience. Let me just tell you, you know, I mean, you can you can see exactly what's going on here. You know, I'm I'm getting uh, I, I'm I'm getting the matches done very quickly, all things considered, but they are certainly not that exciting. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I feel like it's pretty simple for me to go in, win, and then move on to the next battle. So let me know in the comments if you actually do want to see these kinds of uh, th these kinds of battles because I'm actually fine to, to show you that if you want to um, but like for example a one versus many right here this is just not worth it I have I have tested this out I, you know I, I went into one of these as I said to you before and they gave me about the same score and it just didn't really make that much much difference and I could theoretically even if it did give me more score I could just go into one versus ones, win within 30 seconds instead of two minutes or three minutes and just get more score through that. Obviously the game crashing every now and again is definitely making things a bit more difficult than it has to be. But otherwise, I think that's probably gonna be it for this episode. So let me know about that. And otherwise, I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.